smart. And Emelianenko with the takedown on Mir. And Emelianenko catching Mir with a sweeping left hook. 30 seconds of fury here to kick off the main event. Take a look up right in his face. He's sitting there like, okay, that was fun. Good Mir straight, with a straight left. left hand. And Emelianenko oh, for his hurt. Here it comes. He gets hit. Boom. That left uppercut lands right on Mir's chin. Watch the action again. Good straight left by Frank. He's coming in. He gets caught right here. Drops him down. He's stunned. Fedor comes up under the arm with a smart shot. Here it is again. Boom. Look at that head snap. That's what puts you out. This is what heavyweights are about. And this is the power that Fedor has always had in both hands. Johnson surviving the uh, shot below the equator. Lead right hand by Fortune connects. Another right hand. Oh, but Johnson just clocked Fortune. Fortune favors the bold. And Johnson has knocked time out. Fortune out cold. Here's a replay right here. Tim Johnson comes in, throws the left, but it's the right hand. Look at touch right on that chin. Hit the button. Didn't even need to follow up. Once that right hand touches, left hand comes forward. Both throw the right hand, but it's Tim Johnson's that finds the mark. And you can see Tyrell Fortune is out going down. Johnson began wrestling at age five, coming from southern Minnesota. His father was a wrestler. Tim chose wrestling over basketball in seventh grade, two-time Division II All-American. Nice use of the right uppercut by Minikoff. Minikoff loves to throw a big overhand right. John, oh, he's hurt. Yeah. He's stunned just off of that hand. Oh, that's stunned, it. stunned. It is all over, just like that. Just watch. Kick inside, but look at the right hand. Boom, look at the snap. And you can see it sets Johnson on his heels. He goes back, he's trying to get his foundation back. It's not there. That big right hand, then a left hand. He was out on the ground. Big win right there by Vitaly Minikov. Watch the kick with the right hand. Watch the right hand come straight out, watch the snap. Boom, you see his head do that little twitch. He's on his heels, he is stunned. He's trying to figure out where he's at. And it's this shot that puts him out. He's out right there. We're going to go out on a crazy limit and say Suriname's one of like eight places in the world he's never been. I have been to Suriname. I know. Oh, oh my goodness. Bad. It's over. My goodness. Big left hook. Sometimes you don't need the cardio. See what happens. Watch the left hand. Boom, right there on the chin. You see him going down. He's stunned. Dan Margolotta gives him a chance. He goes out right there. Yeah, he was not defending himself in any way. Nope. That was a good stoppage by Dan. That was exactly what he's supposed to do. Big left hand, and he was circling into it, which only intensified the power on it. Watch again as he circles out to his right. Here comes the left hook over the top. Right on the butt, you see him, he is stunned going down. And then he gets planted that one time right there, you see him go out. That's when Dan comes in to stop it. Mago Madoff is a fight for position, the over under by Moro. And now just trying to keep no, Mago Madoff. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. What a knee strike! That shot right across. You see it touch him, and he automatically goes down. It is hard to explain what that feeling is like, but it's like someone sticking a dagger in you. Usman hit him just right with that knee, and Manny was unable to do anything from that point. He is just waiting for the referee to stop it because he cannot move his body. The last time Anatoly Tokov was stopped, in a fight, and Harris came very close in round one. Gerald Harris in the blue box, he just got rocked. He did, he almost landed that left hand again, but he took a big shot. He needs to be careful of his neck right here. 
Tokov in the red gloves. This is where Tokov comes up. He is super strong. There it is. It is all over just like that. Look at this shot. Gets hit with the body kick. A little bit of a block, but it's this shot. That left hand, right hand. Now he's hurt. And that's why he gets stuck in the position with his head in that guillotine. Brings him down. Once he gets his hips inside and you see that squeeze coming up, that's super tight. We call it a 10-finger guillotine. It hurts. It ends up not only shutting off the blood, but also the breath. He needs to be careful of that left hook that Yana keeps on throwing. And the biggest shot from Simone was also the uppercut. Yep. There. Oh, oh, that, that one hurt him connected. Back. He's still hurt, Mike. Yep. He's trying to gain some distance because right now he's not feeling. Everything's a little low. Oh, there's yep. a big right. It is all over. Brian Moore knocks out Simone Donna. That was hard by Brian Moore because he got rocked when you see Brian Moore land this uppercut and things started going downhill for Deanna at this point. Tries to fight back but then takes a huge right hand, another right hand and it is over. Nice. Again, the uppercut. He was showing the rear knee as well. There we go. Oh, oh. what about that from Aiden Lee? And that is it. Petley didn't see it coming. Super performance from Aiden Lee. And what a talent he is. And what a run now that he's starting to put together. Yep, it was a kick. He was showing the knee earlier. That's the thing. Those rear tools are really key when you know a guy is going to shoot on you. There was an uppercut there. There was a knee he was fainting, and then he actually whipped it into a kick. Excellent vision. Remarkable timing as well here from Aiden Lee. And he stopped Petley and walked off. He knew it was done. Great stoppage as well.